In part 1 crochet flower tutorial 66, we made this nice flower that is going to be the center for our large flower. I want to say that you can stop the work at this point and use this full layer flower in your projects. It has dark blue center and light blue petals. I'm going to continue the work making a layer of larger petals using another shade of blue. So let's continue together. We need to join new yarn to work to make the last layer of petals for the center. Chain one with the new yarn. And single crochet through the same chain stitch that we made the slip stitch through. With this single crochet we've begun the next round, round 9. Now chain 5 for the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as we did before, single crochet through in each 2 single crochet stitches that are between the first and the second petal. 1, and two. Again, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet through the next single crochet stitch. One, and through the next one, two. Continue and work chain spaces of five till the end of this round. Let's make the last chain space of 5, chain 5, 3, 4, 5, and single crochet through the last single crochet. And complete the round with a slip stitch made through the first single crochet. Begin the round 10. First chain 1 to bring up the yarn, then chain 5 to begin the first petal on this round. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Work into the first chain space, double treble crochet 7 times. Yarn over the hook 3 times for a double treble. 1, Two, three, let me read you this one. I have made three double trebles. Continue. Four, five. Six, and the last one, seven. Here I made seven double treble crochet stitches into the chain space. Now chain five, three, four, five, and single crochet through the next single crochet. And single crochet through the next single crochet as well. The first petal is ready. Work the second petal the same way into the next chain space. There will be 10 petals like this on this round, so continue and make a petal into each chain space. Work petals till the end of this round. Let's complete the round 10. I worked the last petal, but I still need to finish it, so chain 5 and single crochet through the last single crochet stitch. Then complete the round by making a slip stitch through the first chain stitch on this round. Here I made 5 layers of petals, and this is only the center for my large flower. Now I'm going to continue making even larger petals in a little different way. Let's begin the next round, round 11. 
There will be chain spaces on this round as a foundation for the petals. So make one chain stitch of chain six for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six. And single crochet through an inch of next two single crochet stitches that are between the petals. One and two. Again, chain six for the second chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet through the single crochet stitches. Here we have one and single crochet through the second one, two. Continue and make chain spaces in this way till the end of this round. I have made nine chain spaces of six. Continue and work the last one. So chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And single crochet through the last single crochet. Then make a slip stitch through the first chain stitch to complete the round. Now we can begin the next round, round 12. I will be making large petals. Make one chain stitch up, then single crochet through the next chain stitch. This is the first chain stitch of the chain space. Now chain 10 to begin the first petal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yarn over the hook two times and treble crochet through the sixth chain stitch away from the hook. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Work through this chain stitch treble crochet. Then treble crochet through the next chain stitch. Double crochet through the next chain stitch. Have double crochet through the next one. And single crochet through the last chain stitch. Then single crochet two together. Insert the hook in two strands of the single crochet. Pull up a loop through. Then pull up a loop through the chain stitch of the chain space. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through three. Then single crochet through the next chain stitch. Here we have the first segment of the first petal in this round. There will be three of them in each petal. Now to continue, turn the work to the back. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip three stitches on the segment. One, two, three. And single crochet through the fourth stitch. Then single crochet through the next stitch. And single crochet through the next stitch, which is a chain stitch. Then turn the work to the front. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip this first single and treble crochet through the next two single crochet stitches. One and two. Now work through the chain stitches. Double crochet through the first chain stitch, then half double crochet through the next one and single crochet through the last one. Again, work single crochet two together, insert the hook in two strands of the single crochet, pull up a loop through, then pull up a loop through the next chain stitch of our chain space, yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook to complete the decrease stitch. Let's continue single crochet through the next chain stitch And you can see we have two segments of the first petal ready. 
still need to make the last one. Turn the work to the back, chain three, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet through the next stitch. Single crochet through the next two stitches, the last stitch, work through the chain stitch, and turn to the front. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip the first single crochet, treble crochet through in each of next two single stitches. One and two. Then work through the chain stitches, double crochet, have double crochet through the next chain stitch and single crochet through the last one. Again, work two single crochet decrease, pull up a loop through the single crochet, then through the next chain stitch, yarn over and pull through three. Here our first petal is almost ready. We just need to make a single crochet through in each next two single crochet stitches, one and two. Now to begin the second petal, single crochet through the first chain stitch of the next chain space. And now we can work the second petal the same way. Let's take a look at our petal. It has three segments and beautiful shape. Continue and make petals the same way till the end of this round. Make nine more petals. I'm about to complete this round. I worked the last petal in this round. Now let me show you how to complete the round 12. After the decrease stitch, single crochet through the next single crochet and make a slip through the first chain stitch of this round. The first layer of petals is ready. I still want to continue and show you how to make the last two layers of even larger petals. Please continue the work with me in part 3 Crochet Flower Tutorial 66. Thank you so much for watching.